I cannot believe I bought this sweater. Yo, what is good, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Yours. Today we're doing another winter pickups haul. We did one a couple months ago. Uh, it was actually my first video on the channel. It did really well. You guys seem to enjoy it. And we're doing another one, kind of like a part two. It's been a couple months since the last one. I've been to New Zealand and Australia and done a whole bunch of shopping. And I figured I'd show you guys my latest pickups. If it's your first time here, thank you for joining me. We do a lot of men's fashion content here on the channel. So subscribe, like the video, there's more to come. First pickup, it's just gonna be a sneaker. Just a Vans. Vans classic slip-on. At first glance, it might look like the checkered slip-on, but it's actually a little different. It's got this kind of star detail on it instead of the checkers. It's got kind of a pre-distressed vibe to it. Just a little different than your typical standard checkered slip-on from Vans. Uh, I'm a California boy, so we wear a lot of Vans around here. These are a collaboration with Bianca Chandon. So uh, Bianca Chandon has been around a couple of years. They do a lot of like skateboarding, streetwear styled kind of influenced fashion. And they collaborated with Vans, which is a classic skateboard company. And yeah, they came out with these cool, just kind of different detailed versions of their classic silhouettes. So it's got a cool little insole on it. It is a comfy cush sole. So it's a little bit more comfortable than your standard Vans. Yeah. Nice little detailing, just your standard kind of slip it on, go to the grocery store type shoe. Nothing super special, cheap, fits the same as the regular Vans, 11 and a half for me, true to size. And yeah, just a quick little, not too expensive pickup. So yeah, on to the next one. All right, guys, we got the next pickup here. This is a little different. Um, I've been trying to get into the accessory game a lot more. I feel like that's kind of a weak point in my fashion sense. So I've been trying a little bit harder as far as jewelry and some other stuff. So I figured I'd take my first foray into the world of rings and who better to do it with than Vivian Westwood. So rest in peace. She just passed away. An absolute legend in the fashion community. Um, just so good at fusing that kind of punk aesthetic into high fashion. And uh, yeah, it's really sad that she's gone, but she definitely left a huge legacy. So I figured I'd start right, cop the Vivian Westwood ring. Essence was running a great sale, so I was able to pick up a nice piece for a good deal. This is a silver ring. It's silver plated rhodium, and it's got the classic Vivian Westwood emblem on the front. It's kind of a chunkier ring, because your boy has fat fingers, if you didn't already know from the other videos. So I figure I'd get something a little bit more solid that would fit a lot better. Rocking it as a pinky ring for now. Put that baby on. Let you guys kind of see what it looks like. Just to add a little bit of spice to the fit. It's interesting, I've never been a ring guy before, but I figured I'd step it up and uh, start with the Vivian Westwood ring. I like it, it adds a little spice to the outfit. It's really good quality, awesome little details. I'll roll in some B-roll so you guys could see. It's got some cool branding on the bottom here on the band. And yeah, I like it. If it's good, this is a size large, great quality. Yeah, the Vivian Westwood ring is my next pickup. Hope you guys like it. I'm gonna start trying to get into jewelry more. So I'll try to, you know, work that into the next couple videos, so. All right, guys, next piece is from one of my more recent favorite Japanese clothing companies. You've probably heard of them. They've been blowing up these last couple of years really big and I just got this piece from them. I don't know, it's just very different for me. I guess I'm more of like a simple kind of dude when it comes to the fits and the fashion. So it's a little bit out there, but it's challenging, so I'm excited to try it. So this is from Cav Empt. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. This is their loose waffle knit sweater. I'll kind of give you guys a little bit of a close up just so you can see the detailing in it. Classic Cav Empt badge on the sleeve. It's got this super loose waffle knit pattern on it. And uh, yeah, I saw it on sale a couple months ago and I was just like, dude, I feel like I need to try this. It's just, it's different, it's beige. So it kind of goes with a lot of the black fits that I wear. So it's not gonna be super hard to incorporate it, but the fit's different. It's got kind of a wider, boxier fit, which Cavempt is known for. And it's got this super loose gauge waffle pattern on it, which is pretty much see-through. I don't know, I'm gonna have to like figure out if I'm gonna wear a tee underneath. I'll roll in some fit picks and see what you guys think. And uh, 
I don't know. I like the idea of challenging myself these days. You know, all black is kind of the easy way to go. But um, yeah, incorporating something with this type of pattern and this type of fit is gonna be a little different. So it could be fun, it could be absolutely horrible. So if it's not a vibe, you guys could buy it on my Instagram, I'll post it up. Let's see how it works. As far as the fit, this is a size large. Japanese sizing is always a little weird. I'm six feet tall, 215 pounds, kind of broad shoulders, so I'm a bigger guy. And Japanese clothing is usually not meant to fit someone like me, so. But I tried it on, it fits pretty decent. Let's give it a shot. So the Cath Amped Loose Waffle Knit Sweater. All right, you guys, on to the next piece. Um, we're kind of staying on theme here. It's another Japanese piece uh, from an infamous designer named Yoji Yamamoto. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. Classic avant-garde S style. When I was on my trip in Australia, we stopped by this store called Mason's and it's located in Melbourne. Just an awesome boutique for men's designer fashion. And I was looking around and I found this piece and I just like absolutely instantly fell in love with it. It's nothing too out there like Yoji's typical pieces. It's a little bit easier to wear, but just the construction and the details, amazing. So this is the Yoji Yamamoto Discharged Crew Neck Sweater. And I hope you can tell on camera, but it's kind of this dark kind of chocolate brown. Again, I'm trying to move out of the black and it fades into this amazing kind of lighter brown look to it. And it's made out of wool, amazingly soft, super well made, classic Yoji. The interesting thing about this piece is it only comes in a size three. So if you don't know about Japanese brands, they do one, two, three, four, five for a lot of the tops. And this one only comes in a three. So I was a little concerned about that when they didn't have other sizes. Three usually translates to like large, medium large ish as far as the sizing and like i said before japanese sizing is all over the place for me like on my body but when i asked them about why it only comes in a three it's pretty much so you can wear it in different ways like if you're a smaller person you could wear it oversized if you're a larger person it'll be more fitted obviously it's more fitted on me but yeah i just fell in love with it i tried it on it fit great it's just an amazing piece it's made extremely well shout out to yoji just making a beautiful sweater Another big reason why I picked up this piece is it reminded me a lot of Raph Simmons. He did some crew neck sweaters a few years ago that were kind of dip dyed, I think is what he called it. So they kind of had a similar fading in the crew neck, but they're just super hard to find. They're super expensive and it's hard to find pieces in my size. So as soon as I saw this, it kind of reminded me of that. I had to get it. So the Yoji Yamamoto Discharged Crew Neck Sweater. I'm super hyped to start wearing this for winter. It's made out of wool. It's super cozy and soft, and I just absolutely love it. So, the Yoji sweater, on to the next. All right, you guys, next piece on the list. This is from the Dark Lord himself, Rick Owens, the GOAT, the OG, one of my favorite, favorite designers. He's amazing, man. I love Rick's clothes, I have a ton of it. But if you know about Rick, the all black, vibes, the goth vibes. This one's a little different. Um, this is a denim jacket. <gasps> Boom, right here, this guy. This is from his Dark Shadow line, you already know. This is a break from my typical all black fits. This is a blue wash denim. I got this off grailed, used, amazing price. If you're just getting into designer, don't get frustrated by the crazy prices. Look for stuff on sale, Look, check for the used marketplace. Tons of great deals to be had. This came out a couple years ago. It's not even that old. And it's amazing. It's kind of got a trucker vibe to it. Not quite, but yeah, beautiful denim jacket. Amazing rivet style buttons. It's not your typical cropped fit. It's more of actually an elongated fit. With Rick, everything's either cropped or super long. And this one's longer. It's kind of hard to tell from this, but I will roll in some B-roll so you guys can check the fit. This beautiful, Rick detail on the back, just that subtle, if you know, you know type flex, which we all love. It's just really well made, heavy duty, amazing. It's got the Rick Owens denim, kind of trucker jacket, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, from Dark Shadow. All right, you guys, next one in the winter pickups. 
Uh, this next piece is a little different. It's a pair of pants. We don't usually do a whole lot of pants on the channel, but I'm trying to up my pants game instead of your typical skinny jeans. When I was at that same store, Mason's in Melbourne, I found these pants from a brand called OAMC. Uh, the brand has been around a couple of years. They were started by a couple dudes from Supreme and Carhartt. So it's got kind of your minimal work wear, street wear-ish type vibes. There's a label. And yeah, shout out to OMC for making amazing clothing. This is from Farfetch. Please sponsor me, Farfetch. But I tried these pants on in store, but they didn't have them in my size. So I had to order them. So I got them off Farfetch. Just your amazing cropped trouser beautiful cotton really well made has amazing hardware on it so they kind of have this built-in belt with this cool webbed detailing on the belt just really awesome there's no zipper there's no button you kind of just slip them on um, amazing fit so these are a size large and i normally wear a size i'd say 33 34 as far as denim is concerned and these fit me just right and i actually like them so much in the black I had to spice it up and actually get them in green. This is like an olive green, military vibes-esque color. Same belt detail with the buckle, same zipper, literally the same pant, just in a different color. Cropped vibes. Yeah, they've been an amazing pair of pants. Can't wait to see what else comes out of OEMC. I'm pretty hyped actually. And the prices aren't too crazy, so. All right, um, next piece, and it's the last piece, but it's still a fun piece, so I think you'll like it. It's from one of the OGs himself, Raph Simmons. Rest in peace to Raph, not the man. He is not dead. Rest in peace to Raph Simmons, the brand. He actually just a couple months ago shut down his namesake label for whatever reasons, but he is the co-creative director of Prada still, which makes sense as to why they're coming out with such fire stuff. But I was kind of on the Raph train recently, just kind of, you know, feeling nostalgic. So I just had to pick up something a little simple, just a basic t-shirt. So this is a Raph Simmons Spring Summer 21 tee. I got it on sale, teenage dreams. We all remember our teenage dreams, right? Just a little reminder, just your classic Raph shirt. He's been coming out with these tour shirts in different variations the last couple seasons. Antwerp on the back, Raph on the back, kind of all the addresses and stuff on the back. I don't know if you can tell, but this is actually, it's kind of like a lilac screen print, almost like a lavender-esque type vibes. I actually thought it was white on the website, but it's not. It's this light purplish color. So I'm gonna try to have to fit that in into the fits. And, uh, but yeah, it's, it's a whatever piece. It's nothing major. I was just feeling nostalgic for Raph. So I had to pick something up. It was on sale. Not a crazy price. I'm kind of broke after all that other stuff that I bought, so I had to just get go some light, light with the ref. It fits true to size, which kind of tricked me because I've bought shirts from him in the past, which usually fit oversized. So I went with a large because I wanted a little bit of a more loose fit because I thought it was gonna be bigger. It's not, it's actually true to size. It fits a little snug, I'm not gonna lie to you. So I'm probably just gonna start layering it under pieces, kind of like this button up. Um, just to wear it like that instead of on its own. But uh, I'm still gonna keep it. And if I don't, you guys could add me on Instagram and pick it up off there. So Raph Simmons tour style type t-shirt was my last pickup. And uh, yeah, that is all of it. All right, you guys, we have made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you made it all the way through, drop a like down below, drop a comment. Let me know about your favorite piece, which one was good, which one was trash, which one you hate which one you want to cop, all that good stuff. I love hearing what you guys think. I love interacting with you guys down in the comments. I reply to almost everybody that drops a comment, so feel free. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have more men's fashion content coming soon. Similar to this, we're gonna do hauls, pickups, reviews, vlogs, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, again, my name is Yerves. I have an Instagram. You can follow me on that. I also have a TikTok. You can follow me there. I like to do like short form content, sometimes some fit stuff. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, more stuff coming soon. Next vid dropping very soon. So make sure you subscribe. Thank you all for joining me. Peace.